The easiest way to share your Unity project is on the browser using a WebGL build, especially over itch.io. Um, to do that, we first have to make sure we have the WebGL module installed into the version of Unity that we're using. Uh, so when you go to uh, File, Build Settings, um, and select WebGL, it will tell you here if you have not installed the module yet. Uh, if you, if that's the case, then open up Unity Hub. Under the Installs tab, uh, find the version of Unity that you're using and then click on the three dots and add the WebGL module that way. That will start downloading and then installing. Uh, and then there's a couple of player settings that I like to uh, select. So under the Build Settings, clicking on the Player Settings button over here in Resolution and Presentation, um, you can select the canvas width and height, which will determine um, how big your game will be rendered into the browser as. Uh, and then we can choose to use the default Unity WebGL template or a minimal um, uh, template that just renders the canvas itself onto a browser that we can then style a bit more ourselves. Um, so we'll select that and then you're pretty much good to go. I hit build and from here I usually make a folder in my project folder, the topmost folder of my project folder called builds. And inside there, we're going to make a folder uh, named after our game, in this case, FriendTube. Navigate into that folder and select it as our build destination. At this point, Unity will start generating a number of files for this folder, including a HTML file that determines um, the appearance of our build in the browser, as well as some folders that contain uh, the data that our game requires to run. Um, if everything builds correctly, uh, we're going to want to take those folders, zip them all together into a single package, and then upload that to our itch page. It's important to have a small keyboard around for while you're waiting for your build to build. When your game finishes building, um, it'll open up the folder that contains the folder that you put your game inside of. So that for me, that's my build folder in my project folder. Um, to upload this to itch.io, we first have to compress it. So on Windows, I'm going to right-click, send to compressed folder. Uh, on Mac, you just right-click and then hit compressed. Um, keep its name. Now, going over to our uh, itch dashboard, going to go to the uh, games page. And there I can delete the file that I currently have posted. Now, um, in a future video, we're going to look at how to use Butler to upload files to itch.io without having to even go on your itch site um, to make the process a bit faster. But for now, we're going to delete the file that already existed and upload the file from our computer. Select the zipped folder and open that. Wait for it to upload. Once your file has uploaded, select the option that it will be played in the browser and then save your page. Now you can head over and view your page. It will load your game uh, and then um, let you run it that way. Currently my game is opening it up in a new window um, where it's not really formatted in a way that I like to fit into the browser. So um, we're going to look at how to modify the uh, index file in order to get your game uh, rendering in the browser uh, in a way that works. And uh, we'll also look at how to compress our 
um, projects for WebGL builds.